we want to find the sum of the first six terms. So notation-wise, this is what we're looking for. S with a little six, because that means the sum of the first six terms. Do we know what the sixth term is? Yeah, the sixth term is negative 30. In that case, we can use the first formula. So I'll write the first formula off to the side here just so that we have it as reference. In this formula, do we know what n is? Yes, we want to find six terms. Do we know term 1? Term 1 is 25. Do we know term 6, which is the last term in a sum of 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is negative 30. And we divide by 2. 25 plus negative 30. We'll do this nice and slow. That's negative 5. 6 times negative 5, negative 30, divide by 2, negative 15. What's that? So it's that straightforward. We just added up the first six terms. As far as the math that we needed to do, I think this was a lot easier than actually adding them up one at a time. right? And this will become especially more easier to do if we have to do longer amounts of adding. Okay. Just question number four for practice. We are going to do the second example before you do some practice.